all the prices of things here. It's really cheap to shop in Vietnam. And yeah, so I'm excited to show you guys. So let's go. So this is the bakery section of their grocery store. Usually when we go grocery shopping, we just look for some bread for breakfast. So it's 15,000 dong, which I'll put the prices in the description below. So we usually get two of those. There's so much fresh bread because Vietnamese like baguettes. So you can get lots of fresh donuts and things like that. And this is their deli. They have lots of interesting types of meats and stuff. This is the seafood section here at Big Sea. We have salmon. Salmon is 45,000 dong per kg. And a whole lot of other seafoods. I do not know what that is, but it looks really weird. Whoa, they have live fish. Oh my god. I guess you can just buy live fish here in Vietnam. This is so weird. What is that? It looks like a stingray. So these are the whole chickens. This is 158,000 dong. Oh my god. The way they do the chickens is so weird. You can, the head is still attached to the body. 103,000 for this one. I think because these ones are a bit smaller so they're a bit cheaper. So for chicken breasts it's 59,000 dong and it is how many grams? 69,000 per kilo. So yeah, 69,000 per kilo. For the fillet. chicken fillet, it's 33,000 for that size. The supermarkets here are definitely so much more different compared to at home. There's like so many things that we don't really know what they are. Like there's like aisles and aisles of noodles here, and there's like dumplings and like obviously we know what dumplings are, but there's just like so much more selection and variety than what there is at home for these kind of things. They love your cult. It's only 22,000 dong and you get five. Mm -hmm. Well, they, some of them get like the really big packs. And there's heaps of fake cheese here. They really love this um, laughing cow cheese. I think I've seen it back home, but like in Vietnam, it's so much more popular here. And it's 28,000 dong for just one small one. And then it's 55,000 dong for this big one. They're so good with crackers. Oh my god. Oh, New Zealand butter. This is where all, all our butter goes for Vietnam. Made in New Zealand. 86,000 dong, guys. So La Rue is a Vietnamese beer and for one can of La Rue it is 8,000 dong. Oh, this is one of our favorite beers. This is 9,000 as well. And then Ba Ba Ba, this is 9,000. This beer is Zorok, it's a bigger beer. And this is 14,000. Let's have a look at the wines. Jacob's Creek wine is 459,000. If you wanted to get like a really cheap wine, this is 59,000 dong, but I mean, I wouldn't probably drink that. So yeah, as you can see, it's cheaper to drink beer here rather than wine. So we've just been sticking with beers here and not really drinking any other alcohol since so like, why would you really? I mean, the price of beer is like a few cents. It's like going to the dairy to buy some sweets or something like, you're not really opening your pocket that much to drink beer here. Coffee is a massive deal here in Vietnam. They were introduced to it by the early French settlers and now they are the second largest producer of it in the world. So that's pretty awesome I reckon. So if you come to Vietnam you definitely have to try some Vietnamese coffee.
And Vietnam is actually the largest exporter in the world of dragon fruit. So if you don't know what dragon fruit is, you should definitely look it up online. But um, they're so interesting to look at. They're only 19,000 dong per kg. Just an interesting fact for you guys, in 2016 GMO in Vietnam had been licensed to grow and GMO food products must be labelled in Vietnamese as GMO. What is GMO you might ask? Well it is a genetically modified organism whose makeup has been modified in a laboratory. It's kind of like Kmart here because they have clothing and cosmetics and all of those random kind of things that you need so there's like so much that you can get at Big C. Alright guys, we just got back home and the total of that in New Zealand dollars was 80 and I think it was about 50 US dollars. So yeah, I know that sounds a bit much but the price is for two people, keep in mind. And we did buy mostly fresh foods. So as you can see like our whole fridge is just full of fresh foods now. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and if you did give it a like down below and subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next vlog. Okay, bye!